What up, what up, what up? What up, Joe? What's good? What is good? Hopefully everybody having a good Friday. Salute to everyone. Super Dale. Give it about a minute that people start coming in. But as you coming in, go ahead and smack that thumbs up. As you see, we're going to be talking about these Buzz TV devices. If you are um, know about the Buzz TV, you know they specialize in... Um, eyebrow television um, you know EPGs electronic program guides and so it's a very very nice device but definitely come on in and we'll get one of these bad boys plugged in probably the HD5 alright we give it about another 30 seconds guys Right. What up, though? What's good? What is good? Salute to everybody. Salute, salute, salute. What is good? Let me hit this camera right quick. Go down here and turn on this camera. All right. We'll turn on this camera. What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? How y'all doing today? Salute to everyone. Hopefully y'all having a great, great, great day. Turn that down just a little bit. Great, great, great day. Hey, salute to everybody. Um, I got a great response on the last um this um show right here, which was what Wednesday. Um, got great feedback on this right here. Great, great, great feedback. And you know, um the dialogue I think was pretty, pretty awesome. And so um, but today on this live, we're definitely going to talk about the Buzz TV. If you don't know about it, you're going to know about it. Um, for anybody, it, it's, listen, it's not for everybody. So we don't need nobody on here saying, um, why will I pay for that and all that? You know, um, it, it's really personal preference. It's really, really personal preference. Um so I will hope that y'all understand that. I'm not forcing anybody to go and pay. Like I, uh, it's not that type of deal. But I just want you to know that there are awesome um, eyebrow Peterson television devices out here. Um, once I plug one of them up, I'm probably going to plug this one up right here because this one has some applications, as you know. Um, with all, you know, some people that's just be hating, you know, uh, you know, we have to watch what we show on YouTube. All right. So with that being said, big salute to y'all. Big, big salute to y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in for another show. Um, just to give you some feedback, um, been rocking Buzz TV for a while. As you see right here. Guys, this was like, this device, look how small it is. I mean, very, very small where it fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> that's how it, That's how long I've been rocking with them. Um, I think this device right here might have came like 2016, something like that. 
maybe 17. I cannot remember. I do know that this is the uh, XPL 3000 model. Also, with that being said, I do have another one. Some of y'all remember this one. I love the color. And again, this is the Buzz TV, as you see right there. Hopefully, you can see that logo. Um, used to rock this one a lot. Used to used to rock this one a lot. And so, me and you know myself and Buzz TV uh, reps, we we do have we do have a relationship. Um, they they send me their devices, and we go from there. Now, this one right here was one of the greatest devices that I own as far as having this own uh, eyebrow television application. Um, this is the X9, no, the XRS4900. This one right here. The presentation of these boxes is amazing. All right. Now, the one thing about this one, guys, this one came with a feature that you can install a drive in here, all right? You can install a drive in here. That way, if you was recording or you just wanted to add some extra internal storage, you can do it. You can do it, and it and it worked. It 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 worked, you know. But I just love the presentation of this right here. This box, it still worked. Very very awesome. So with that being said. This is the box that I have um, right here. All right, this is the S5. All right, this one, this model right here comes with a 128 um, gigabytes of internal storage. You know, um, very, very nice, lightweight. I love the features on here. I mean, if you can see them, I just love it. It looks beautiful. Two antennas just for, you know, on um, Wi-Fi, better connection, Ethernet port. Um, it has one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0, and very, very nice. And not only that, it comes with a Bluetooth remote control. So very, very nice. Um, before I even get into the newer box, and again, I unplugged that one because, you know, I don't want any smoke, all right? Because I have applications on there that um, not suitable for YouTube, and you know, and then you got people who like watching my live shows and possibly like to report, and so we don't play them games here. And so again, you know, uh, I'm not going to display that device right here. Um, but with that being said, I will show you because in the description of this video, if you want to go and look at these devices, if you want to take a look, nobody's forcing you to buy anything. It's OK to read and look and see exactly where the, what what we're working with um, inside the description of this. You actually see the Buzz TV website, which I'm about to share right now. Let me go here. Let me share my screen and let's go through it together. All right. So this is it right here. Let me uh, move this right here. So this is everything right here um, in this Buzz TV Global. So if you go into your Google, your Internet browser, you do a search, you can you you can type in Buzz TV Global or you can go to BuzzTVGlobal.com. All right. And so they have a few sales right here. You can check that out free keyboard with remote all right so these are the two that i have the x5 the 128 and then also i have an x564 all right and so uh, again if you want to just go in here and look at some specs you can go in here and look at some features you know and and it goes right here here go a chart right here it tells you everything and it just it just shows you what 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 the the box is. As you see, this one this one is two hundred dollars. You can pay with PayPal if you want. Again, it's up to you. No one is forcing anyone. I'm gonna re keep repeating that because somebody's going to come on the comments and say, "Man, why will I do that when I can get the shield?" Nobody's forcing you. Then go on get a shield. All right. No one is forcing you. 
But I will be plugging this one up. This is the HD5. This is the 30, the 32 gigabyte of internal dongle. All right. And you see some pictures right here. And then here is a model. So if you want to, um, you know, it comes with a Bluetooth remote as well. But very, very nice. And it gives you some information here. Like 32 gigs of internal. Um, four gigabytes of RAM, which is right here, which is always well. And again, you got your 32 gigs of internal. All right. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So it does come with that built in. All right. Dual antennas. Bluetooth pairing button right there. It does come with the uh, Amlogic um, 905Y4. Um, that's the chip. And it does run Android 11. Also has the AV1. That's a that's a codec, a video codec, for just in case anybody want to know. It also comes with a built-in LAN port, which means you could plug this directly um, using an Ethernet cord from your router or your network switch directly into this device. You do not have to get no USB or no OTG just to get this device off of Wi-Fi. And then you got the built-in um, HDMI, of course, the same just as the Fire Stick and other Bluetooth. And of course, you know, smart smart remote and all of that USB types, um, C power. And then you, of course, the Buzz TV app, which I will display to y'all. All right, I will display to y'all. And it does come with remote batteries. And then you got the power cord right here. So it's pretty much straight up. It's straightforward. It's nothing um, that I don't think you will you won't be able to connect. Pretty pretty easy. Pretty pretty easy. But like I said, again, it's one hundred and nineteen dollars. So because somebody gonna blow you deal, how much is that? And that's how I'm gonna know if somebody watched the full video. And so this device right here is the HD five thirty two. Um, dongle and uh, the 32 gigabyte dongle, and then you can go from there. So it's pretty, it's, it's it should be a solid device. I never plugged it up or anything, so I'm gonna have to go through the settings and then go from there. I may even install a couple applications and then, um, and we'll see how that works. All right, so what is up? What is up what is up so let's get it started just in case y'all have any questions later if you're just coming in don't forget to smack that thumbs up and we get to smack it good evening everyone what is up i see y'all up in here i see y'all up in here all right if you have any questions please let me get done with this um, presentation first, and then I will answer your questions at the end. But I just want to get this going. I may have to step around and then um, plug this device up. All right. So here's the remote control right, right here. And again, it is Bluetooth. It is not IR. So that is a big plus. Also... You got the power cord right here. Then you got the all right, type C. So it is type C that hooks up to that. And then they also give you and my fingers. Come on, there we go. My fingers. All right, there we go. All right, and again. Please hold off to your questions, comments. Um, you know, I mean, y'all can talk amongst each other, but if you have a question about this device, uh, let me go ahead and go through everything first before um, I answer any questions. And let me give a shout out, a salute, rather, to one of our members who always show some love. Uh, actually donated the last time, uh, I think the last show, uh, donated via PayPal, and that's Miss T. Harper. She know who she is. She know who she is. Salute to you. Thank you for showing some love. Right here. So I'm getting everything set up. Putting these batteries, so it does, it does come with two batteries. Triple A's. 
All right, so we're going to get that going right there. And then I'm going to go around here and get this device set up. I got my multi viewer right up under under here so it should be an easy connection i just have to give it some power that's about it which i'm gonna do right here so again this is my first time setting it up so you already know um also included they give you a card and you can do a scan where you, they give you a scan barcode and it'll take you right to the bus tv.com you know i got the smart remote on there and everything so come on All right, here we go. And again, it, it has the type C. You just plug that bad boy in. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this into my multi viewer. I'm gonna put this into feed four. Put that into the feed four. I will say this. Uh, cord is not that long as you see that's one thing is it's not that long so i don't know some of y'all but it will hook up to your television as well all right for power if you're not using the usb uh, for power um some of y'all are using the usb already all right so let me go around here guys hold up about to get the party started And again, thanks to Buzz TV. Buzz TV always look out for your boy. Always. Don't have an issue with Buzz TV. All right, so let me do this right quick so y'all can see it. All right, so this is, this is how it comes on. So let me move some of this out the way. Move this out the way. Get this off the table. And I may hook up. Well, it, it's no may. I already know I'm going to have to. All right. So I'm about to pair the remote. So if you was to get one of these, you know exactly what to do. You can always come to this video right here. I'm just moving things out of the way. I may even hook up because it does have a USB um, on here. All right. And so it's telling me to pair, as you see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that home button and that OK button just to pair it. I got them big old fingers. It says remote found down there. All right. And so here it is right here. We're going through it. English, Eastern Daylight Savings Time right here. And we'll do it at uh, 1080, 60 hertz. I will select that one. And so you can zoom in, zoom out. You know, so if you want to zoom in, can if you want to zoom out you can as well so when you zoom out you see the screen gets uh, smaller um, depending on the size of your TV what you want to make sure is all you see the blue lines all right and then once you are done you just go down here and hit done and now it's going to say connect um, Wi-Fi which I don't want to do because when I stream guys when I stream I like to hardwire so hold up because remember, it does have an Ethernet port on there. I don't, when I stream, I like to be hardwired. Hold up just a second.
All right. So as you see, it's it, I do have it connected um, right there. Again, if you're just coming in, don't forget to smack that thumbs up. And then I'm going to click finish. And so right now it's checking for an update. Update available. So right out the box, we're going to update this bad boy. You see it down there at the bottom. Well, you're about to see it. Um, look at the bottom of the, your screen, and you see that laser, that blue laser that's going across. Almost done. So it is an update for the remote, and now it's checking for an update for the box. It looked like something went through on June 29th. Update HD5 changes. Uh, fix Force Max volume bug. All right. So we're going to wait for it. It says preparing system update. And so one thing about the Buzz TV boxes, because someone may ask this, somebody going to say, hey, do they update? Absolutely, they do update. Just waiting right now. <laughs> oh man say somebody want to play huh <laughs> alright let me go up here let me acknowledge some people we got Latif in the building uh, who else we got up in here? Why this update is taken available? Uh, let me go down here. So LB is in the building. Latif, what up though? Jolly Jolly, what up though? Salvador, what up though? Rich, what up though? Lionel, what up though? Eugene, what up though? James, what up though? What's good? Dub Q, what up though? What's up, real? How you doing? Aaron, what up though? Libra Sun, what up though? What is good? I said. Uh, let me see who else show enough in the building. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hey, let me give a salute, Eugene. Salute, salute, salute. Say, yeah, it is nice. It's a game changer. I love this device. I have the XRS 4500 and the X5. Yeah, I like it. And uh, we're going to talk about it some more, um, too, because one feature it has, because um, a lot of us use, what, the free the free Eyebrow Peterson television apps, you know, uh, the XCIP TV, we use, um, uh, what is that other one called? Let me, uh, I can't even remember. There's so many of them. Let me do this. Doom, doom, doom. What else we got up in here? Uh, Don, what up, though? What's good? What up, though, Hustler? What's good? What's good? Coming down, Mac. Mac Daddy in the building. What up, though? Sir Rome in the building. What up, though? What up, though? Say, I got, I got an HD five. Is awesome device for all my streaming purposes, and that, that's, that's what it's for. Definitely, I, I agree. I love that the the remote is Bluetooth. I love that.
Bo Lagoon, what's up? What's good? Cordelia, what's up? Huff, what up, though? Huff, what's good, baby? What's good? L.Y. Clemo, what up, though? What's good? He said, like, work is busy. That's a good thing. When it slow down, that's when you want to get worried. <laughs> L.Y. But I understand. What's up, Daryl? How you doing? Definitely smack that thumbs up, guys. Abel, what up, though? Jeff, what's up? George, what up, though? What's good? TR Dub, what up, though? It's almost done, guys, so it's probably going to restart. Probably. What up, though? LC, what's good? John in the building. What up, though? And so just just um, for some of y'all, we're just um, updating the new Buzz TV HD5 box. It's telling me to reboot, so that's what I'm going to do. Reboot this joint. There it is. Who else up in here? Elijah, what up, though? What's up, Moni? What's good? What's good, baby? How you doing? Long time. QC, what up, though? Sarge in the building. What up, though? Tay, what up, though? Big H. What up, though? Darren, what is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Don't forget to smack that thumbs up. It is free, and it doesn't cost you a thing. So again, we are looking at the new Buzz TV. This 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 device is their dongle. Uh, for people uh, who may not know, this is the dongle version of it. Um, very, 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 very nice. Give it a give it a little bit before you even. You anytime you start up a new device and it just does an update, give it a little bit of time. Give it about up to a minute before you start um you know playing around with it. Don't Uh, and so the some of the eyebrow Peterson television um, apps that you can get from the Play Store, um, you know, you got the free ones. Sometimes you know what you get with the free ones. You got Smarters, um, you got IP, uh, IPTV Stream that's in the Google Play Store. Again, OTT Navigator, uh, uh, Perfect Player. You got some... Um, you know some other applications on here but what makes this one so special it does come with a dedicated one all right it does come with its own we'll go around this device um i may install a couple of applications on here it's just that i can't get into great detail because of this device and what it's capable of doing george let me give you a salute 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 thank you for the donation Said, so what's the difference between the 4,900? All right, give me a second, George. I will answer that after this presentation. I will answer that one because I got the 4,900 one right here. And then we'll go back and actually check out the 4,900 and then let you know. We'll do it right here and show you the difference between the two. Got you, George. All right, so here it is right here. Let's get this bad boy going. So it does come with all of these applications already preoccupied on it. Some of y'all notice the app installer. That's old school right there to allow you to install some applications onto this device. Like if you have them on a flash drive, that's what that application is for. Very, very nice. Of course, app toy. Um, this is basically the Play Store on you know, uh, juiced up, all right? Juiced up. 
and then you got the Buzz TV OTA. Then you got the smart remote right here, Chrome. Of course, it comes with um, Google Play, Netflix. Um, I don't know if this is uh, the Netflix that I don't know if this is the um, Netflix that will give you like 4K content. Um, on the other ones, they didn't have it. So um, they, this is the one. If it is not going to give you a 4K display. But on this channel, we show you how to get your own. We we show you how to build your own library. That's why you don't. It, it's funny you don't hear nobody talking about, you know, hey, man, go to Netflix or go to Disney or go to Hulu. Because we, on here, we have show you or if you want to learn something new, you want to start your media library, and which is very, very easy, you can email me. If you email me, you can email me right there at asksuperdeltv at gmail.com. And it's a consultation fee, uh, but I will show you. Let's just say once I get done with you, and it, I'm telling you, it will not go past 30 minutes, but once I show you, you would never, you, I'm telling you, you would just build your own library instead of going to these dedicated applications. All right. We know how to get it. All right. So, all right. So those are some of the features. One thing about this remote, it does come with, uh, as you see, your own mouse toggle. As you see me going across the screen, that's, that's, that is very, very nice. Also, you got, let's go into this one right here. All right. So if you were to have eyebrow Peterson television, you can actually go up in here, guys. And this is where you will set everything up. Of course, you got the Mac server. And then let me turn this off right quick. And then you got the, um, you know, if you click on this right here. You can you can go into the login. So. When you when you're on the XC API login, so like if I was to click on here, all right, you can name it whatever you want. Okay, you can do that. But whoever you get your eyebrow Peterson television from, you get that URL and then get your username, password, and then that is it. All right. Now, of course, I cannot show you this, um, but this is one of the features that it has. Um, very, very nice um for your eyebrow peterson television if you know what i mean all right and then if you have an m3u list you can go down here and click that and you can put your m3u list in there and you can just go down to each of them and then go from there all right so a lot of people actually use this one right here um this xc api login and again with this device, one thing about um, the Buzz device, you should never have to update your EPG. Now, some of y'all may say, well, what is an EPG? That is your TV guide. EPG stands for Electronic Program Guide. So if you on somebody's show and they say EPG, EPG, you, you may be like, well, what the heck is an EPG? It's an electronic program guide, a.k.a. TV guide. So when you have your cable and, you know, you got your box of your whoever your cable provider is, yes, you can go in there and actually um, the guide will look very, very similar. VOD, PVR, uh, uh, yes, that's right, record, all right? And then you got the EPG right here. On here, you got the all apps. Again, this will display what is on this device. All right. So all your apps will be right there. All right. You got app stores. So this will take you to app toy, as you see right there, which is very, very nice. And then if you want to add something, you can. You can go up here and just say, I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to just add YouTube to here. And I'm going to put it onto the home screen. All right. And so when we go back out here to the home screen, you will see that YouTube is added. And if you want to add some more, you know, you can go into the hit the plus button and say, I want to put the Google Play 
on there and add it to the home screen. And you see, if you notice, when you add it, when you add it, you see that little star that's in the top right-hand corner? That lets you know that you have added this to your home screen, all right? And then when you go out, you will just see it, all right? Straightforward, straightforward. And again, down here, you have, you know, you can do some movements and everything. So if you wanted to move it, that's all you have to do is press the OK, and then you can move everything down here. Similar, listen, if you've been working on um, the NVIDIA Shield, you've been working on the on boxes, you've been working on um, uh, Google TV, Chromecast with Google TV, it's very, very similar. A lot of times you could just press and you can say remove the shortcut, uninstall it, or you can remove it. So like, let me just do this one. Like if I wanted to remove this one from this area right here, this row. If I wanted to remove it, not delete it, but just um, move it, I can. And you can just go from there and just drop it wherever you want to. All right. If I wanted to remove this. I can uninstall it. I can, you know, add a shortcut. I can do everything to it. So <clears throat> that's pretty much how that go. Up here at the top, you got your settings. All right. Let's go into it. Same thing, you see it right there. This looks very, very familiar to you, don't you? All right, because it is running Android 11. And so I haven't signed into any accounts. There's no need for me to sign into it. Again, all of this should look familiar to you. One thing about it, go into device preference, go into about. We can go down here and see that it's running Android 11. All right. Also, let's do this. Let's go ahead and make it a developer. All right. To make it in develop, developer mode, you just go down there and select Android TV and you click it like seven, eight times. And then it will say you are now a developer. And so when you go to the back, go to the back, you should be able to go into the developer option. Boom, right there. And what I like to do, what I learned like a year and a half, two years ago, I can go down here and make this you know, this motion with the with your remote control a little bit snappier. So Windows, I could change that to 0.5. Transition, I could change that to 0.5 instead of 1. And I can also change this. All right. I've been rocking this all this time. Nothing has ever happened to any of my devices. And so if somebody say, hey, man, you're doing this. Listen, I done put all of my devices from the NVIDIA Shield to some of these lower end devices and it never anything nothing has ha happened to my device but what i will tell you that your remote would be a lot snappier when you start making them changes in developers options all right you see how everything is just how everything is just moving so so quick all right so again the setting you just see how everything is just moving so so quick and that's what you want again you got your remote accessories and you can see it right there you got the buzz tv bluetooth 400 which is very very nice then you got more settings so if you want to go up in here and do some settings you can do that as well all right again server settings again that is very very similar to when you when you hooking up this right here all right the eyebrow television all right, so when we click on that, which is what you see it right at the top, just click in there, and it takes you right back to here. Mac server, XC API, or M3U. That's all it's doing. All right, and then you got, of course, if you want to go Wi-Fi, it's telling me that the Bluetooth is on. How do I know the Bluetooth is on? Because it tells me right then and there is on. Plus the remote is Bluetooth. And it tells me how how I am connected. I am connected Ethernet. Um, if you want to go with the updates, you can. But we already know this one is update. Then you got your image if you have some pictures on here. But let's go into this right here. Because this is one of the fun parts. The Buzz TV Utilities. All right. Of course, 
you got your home screen, you got your weather, you got your remote control, you got your volume control and all of that. But right here, the home screen, all right? Remember, this is the home screen right here. This is the, one of the home screens, all right? I'm so familiar with the Buzz TV. So when you want to go into the Buzz TV utilities, you can go in here. Say you don't like that home screen. Let's go up in here. Let's change it to Buzz TV Classic. That's the original, right? That is the original. If you want yours to look like this, yes, you can add a third-party launcher to it if you want. If you want to, you know, go this route, this is very, this is old school right here, all right? So let's go back into here. Let's go back into utilities. Go to home screens. Let's change it to the Buzz TV Media Player. This will look a little bit cleaner, as you see right here. And if you want to add, you notice where you got these pluses, right? You can always add to this. All right, so if I wanted to add to this, you can. You can name it whatever you want. You can, let me just do this. I'm going to just put Dale. All right, I'm going to name a, a row Dale. All right, and then just hit it. And then I'm going to hit done. Let's see. Oh, it didn't take. Hold up. I don't know why it didn't take, but let's try it again. Add section, Dale. Hit the next. And then I want to hit the done. Maybe I just got to be patient. Like, no, Dale, we ain't going to let you add it right now. All right, so let's see now. Oh, I got to press done. All right, so down there at the bottom, you see it. So when you add whatever name you want your row, then remember, you got to go down here at the bottom and select done. And there you have it. You see Dale got his own row. And then you can just go in here and say, I want to put Chrome in here. Do I want to add it to the row of Dale? Yes. And then when I go back, there it is right there. All right. So you can name it whatever you want. Let's try it again. Let's. So if you really wanted to do something right, also you could delete as well. So let me do this. I'm going to delete Dale. Oops, sorry. Sorry. Delete. Go down there, highlight, and you'll see Dale is missing. So now when I go, so if you really want to customize it, right, and again, usually I have my keyboard hooked up, but in this case, we just do it like this. You might want to have a movies, right? You can customize this box so much. And that's why a lot of people actually love these Buzz devices. All right, so I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit done. And go down here, hit done. And then you see it right there. You see the movies right there. So then with all of your, your, your movie applications, um, you can actually go down here. Like I can then put Netflix if that's what I want to do. I can also go down here and Disney has movies. You can do that. So if you really wanted to, you know, uh, YouTube be having movies on there. You want so all your applications with movies you can do it and then when you go back as you see it right up under movies you can you can actually do your thing and so you can customize this device guys i mean you know you can customize it however you want is real there really isn't any oops, sorry about that there isn't a wrong way to do it so again you can do that let's go back and so again that's in the um, media player. Let's try the Buzz Media Player 2. All right. You can have it where, you know, everything is right there on top of you. Pretty, 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 you know, uh, straightforward. You know, some of the third-party launchers is similar to this. Um, and so before anybody asks, what is that Buzz TV 5? Again, that would take you here. Okay. That would take you here. 
and go from there. So let me go back, go into the home screen, and then you can go back to the Buzz TV Modern, which is this. All right, so this is the original. You can set them up however you want, guys. It's, it's very, very nice. You can customize it. You can do pretty much a lot with this. It's just really up to you on what you want, all right? It really comes down to you, all right? That's what it comes down to. So that's what it comes down to. And so what I'm going to do right here, you see I got one that's called, I ain't mean to do that TT one. I'm going to just delete it. All right. And again, so right here I got it. And of course, you can always go right here and add your stuff. And of course, these squares, of course, that's just your all your applications again. So a lot of this, you'll be... You know, um, you'll be setting this up to your liking. Again, you want to add another row, you can just go down here, you know, uh, put um, uh, server, all right? So you may have a, some type of application with your server on there. You can name it whatever you want. So say if you got a Plex, all right? So you may want one strictly for your Plex, right? And you can... You know, you can bring it on over here. Just get the application on here. And then you can add the Plex app. Um, it's really up to you however you want to customize it. You may have some um, some movie, not some music apps on here. So you can go up in here and even call one music. I like to capitalize. So I know a lot of y'all will be setting this up with your remote. I encourage everybody to go and get some type of keyboard with touchpad. All right. It just see, I mean, it just it'll make it that quicker, though. I'm just telling you now. All right. So I'm gonna add that. And then I'm gonna hit that and then hit done. And it will add the music roll on here. So, and then that's when you can go on here and you know do YouTube. That's how you listen to your music. All right. And then when you go on here, you have it straight up. So it's up to you. You can customize it. I think you can do about at least probably about uh I think about four or five rows. I can't remember. Um, it's been a while. I keep hitting the button. Sorry about that. But that's pretty much how it go. The the like I said, the device is so, so nice. So, so nice. Um, just to show you, I am going to take my flash drive on here. Don't forget to smack that thumbs up as you're entering the building, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And so I'm going to show you the thumb drive. This is the thumb drive I am about to connect to it right here. So where's the device right here? And we we'll, we'll just put a couple little applications on here. I think it's in there. All right. So let's go back to it. All right. So let's go back to it, and then we can actually go to the application. I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to go back up to uh, the setting. I'm going to go down to the Buzz TV. And I'm going to go back to the modern. All right. So I'm going to go down here to the modern. And so you see right here where it says App Installer? I'm going to go there. All right. So it's not hold up. It's not picking it up yet. There we go. And so I got the scan USB drive right here. And so let me do it like this. Um, let me do it this way. 
Hold up. Because one thing about the, and, and again, the reason I had to stop that because I forgot the app installer actually shows you every application that is on that device. And a lot of them applications, I cannot display that way. And so I'm going to go into the file browser, hit allow, and I'm going to do it this way because then it will show the folders, all right? That, and so it's a difference. So again, I'm glad I caught myself. I haven't used app installer in a while and I don't need certain applications being shown. And so I'm gonna go down to one that I have as YouTube only, YouTube only apps. So I'm gonna just go up in here. And as you see right here, I have only a few applications on here. Remember this device is 32 gigabytes. So if I want to add an Aliti, and it's probably going to make me go to the settings and turn that on for file browser, which is no problem. I'm going to turn that on and turn that on. And let's go back to it. So when I want to add an Aliti, let's do that. Install. And then we go on from there. Again, guys, I'm almost done with this. Um, hold hold your questions um, to the end. All right, and I will answer them. Let me just install a few of these applications onto this device. File Commander, y'all know what that is. That's uh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, the original file manager, because I love this file manager. All right, we hit done. I add like a uh, Nova video player. And I will see if there's Nova video player on the Buzz TV device. All right, it won't, it might be already on here. I'm not for sure, but it's not letting me do that one. All right. But we will see if it will pick up my um, my Z my Zadu device. Of course, the Explorer app. You already know what that is. Hit done. And one more. What is this? Uh, let me put VLC. I don't think I put VLC on there. <laughs> All right. And again, I guess I'll do this. The XCI PTV. Let's do that. Again, you can get this XCI PTV out of the Google Play Store and the App Toy, either one. So you might say, well, Dale, why is you putting that on here? Just to show you that it will take it. Some, not everybody, some people just like third-party applications. All right, so when I hit the home, as you see, everything has been added, file manager, send anywhere, VLC, explore, all of these have been added. Um, let me do this. I am going to run. Let me run the speed test right quick. All right. Come on, Analyti. All right. So it doesn't want to run that. Let's try it again. Let's try to get back up in here. So it seems to not want to run the analyti. That's not good. That's definitely not good. All right. So let me hit the home button. That didn't work so well. Let me go into the Explorer app. 
all right so we we good with the explorer app that works all right so everything works over here looks view beautiful over here all right we have discussed that one so if people don't know how to use that uh let's do vlc let's see if it'll pick up um my Zadu. Ew, I don't need it to scan that. Let's go into um, local network. Let me see something right quick. And there is my... All right, there go my Zadu right here. I got three folders in here. And this is where everything is pretty much at right here. And so as you see it, it is picking it up. And so when I go into my movies, you can see I got, you know, um, quite a few films in here. All right. In alphabetical order. All right. So it does pick it up. So that's pretty cool. Let me do this, though. Let me see something. All right. Let's see if it worked. I'm going to go into this one. Let's see if it worked. So we know it worked because there it is right there. Of course, I can't play no movie, right? I can't play no movie, so just know that. All right? Like, Dale, we play a movie. Nah, I can't, I can't play no movies, all right? Don't want to... Uh, but this is... this is. Oops. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You see it was getting ready to play, right? <laughs> and so, also, it does have my Plex server right here. Let me see TV shows. Y'all remember that action, drama, suspense, thriller? Boom. So, it will pick up your Plex using third-party applications as well. All right. So, as you see, it's a lot. So if you do have a server that's on your network, um, it will pick it up and you should be good to go. Look at all these films I got. All of them. And again, everything works, right? Got some other stuff on here. So you can definitely, it will pull it. Uh, what else on here? Of course, I love File Manager. File manager is very, very nice, you know. And it does the same thing. You know, your folders. Uh, again, and then I love this one as well. Now, if you if you're if you think um the Explorer app is just too intimidating, it is scary, then you can actually go to a more um, easier application that pretty much does the same thing. Uh oh, it's not working on that one. Ah, so it don't work. So that's two applications that are not working. Um, they do have other speed tests um, that you can get on here, but yeah, this is the file. This one not working. And so I don't know if you're gonna have to log in and get the the one from the Google Play Store. I can't remember where I got this one from. The file TV, uh, the TV file commander. So you may have to log in there and officially download it on there um, and do analytic, which I probably could do. All right. But it's a, it's a solid device, guys. Again, um, unlike some devices, if you do not want to and it's in your budget if it if you do not you getting tired of uh you know uh third party applications um uh, stuff like this you see this one right here this ain't nothing but xcip tv all right so this one right here you may get tired of it you know this device right here the buzz you can actually go up in here you don't have to get in touch with your provider and tell them that you need the URL or the M3U list. If you get, if you need the URL, 
then they'll give it to you. You just go down there and click. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it uh, water, waterbed, TV, whatever you want. Just make sure the main thing is the URL has to be correct and then your username and password. All right. Which you probably got your username and password. You just need the URL. But you can name it whatever you want. Waterbed, bug bed, whatever you want. White Castles TV. You can name it whatever you want. Mickey D's, whatever you want is up to you. And then once you have everything, you just go down there and hit connect and you will see that bad boy. It's going to take about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and you're going to see everything just load up and then go from there. All right. But it's pretty straightforward, though. Just like any other um, TV app, you can you can you can do your thing. Um, they do have this one, this Buzz TV Smart. And then you can, as you see it right there, it gives you, uh, if you want the back lid on, as you see it. But if you don't like it, you can turn it off. I suggest that you turn it on. You can set up the color keys. All right. So you, this one right here, let's set it up right now. Let's say I want this one as Chrome. All right. You can confirm it. All right. So the red button on the remote control, the remote control is right there. You see it right there. You may say, I want the, the green button to be um, uh, YouTube. All right. You can confirm it. All right. You may say, I want to set up this one to be whatever. You know, um, you just set it up however you want. Right. And so once you're done. Once you're done with it, so if I hit the red button, as you see, it'll go to the Chrome. All right? All right? If I hit the green button, you see, it'll go to YouTube. All right? Straight up right there. And so, again, you set it up to your liking. Um, unfortunately, you can't put your third-party apps, which is strange, though. I could have swore they did it. Um, I just have to check back into it. It's been a while so I usually don't use the favorites, but, you know, um, but you can set them up. Some people set them up, and that's, that's fine and that. All right? So that's pretty much easy. Um, and then you can always update the control software, which is just it updated already. And it has the time, the date up in the top right-hand corner. Very, very nice. And also, it gives you the battery percentage. So if your battery is getting low, it's time to change some batteries. You can go right there to this application right here, the Buzz TV Smart Remote, and you can you can just go up in there and be like, "Hey man, uh, my batteries," you know. So and then go from there. All right, all right. So that's pretty much um, it, guys. On this, on those two boxes. You, you can set it up. You can give it a third-party launcher in here. You can pretty much set everything up and then go from there. Let's see why this... I don't know why this is not working. The analytics. But they got other, other um, applications that you can use. And it'll work. So pretty straightforward, though. And um, and the Nova launcher didn't work, which is the Nova player. I meant. Where you at? Which is very very strange. Very very strange. Why that didn't work? <laughs> but. You have that some you you listen, some devices is just not going to take it where well, not where, but it's not going to take it well. Um, you know, each each device you have to figure it out and see what works. Like there are some applications that I have on the NVIDIA Shield um that won't work for the NVIDIA Shield, but work for um, you know, other boxes. It'll work for the Zadu. I got apps that work on the Zadu. That don't work on the shield, things that work on the shield, does it do a struggle with? So every device is different. 
you know, you just have to pick and choose which one you like the most and then go from there. But that's pretty much it, man. This this device is nice. Um let me see something though, man, because I really I really wanted to see uh, the speed test. All right. So let's go up in here. And again, the Aptoid, this is his own version right here. So if you want to go up in here, you can. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's see. Because they got the Aptoid right here. I mean, not app toy. It got the. So let me let me see if it'll launch from here. It's not even launching from here. That's what's the strange thing. All right. But this is their own version of it. So let me just do all, and then you can just install what you want on here, as you see it right here. And again, this is their, their version of everything that you can get on this device. Quite a bit. Quite a bit, as you can see on here. I'm trying to see if there's another speed test that they had on here. I probably can go to, uh, let me see if they got communicate. Let's go to tools. Let's do it like this. Tools should have something in here. It goes Sting TV speed test. Let's see what else they have. They got the speed test right here. Again, I don't know why. You know what? This is what I do. Hold up. This is what I'm gonna do. Let's go out. Where's you at? Me hold it let me uninstall it yes uninstall this and where you at i'm gonna uninstall this one all right so both of those are uninstalled so now let's go back into the app toy tv that's actually ran by the bus development team and let's see uh you see I, I i come up in here i'll be messing with all type of things right so let's do this let's get this version all right let's install it so i'm gonna hit install and then we're gonna try to open it up Maybe we just had to go up in theirs. Uh, maybe they had a, uh, this application is dedicated strictly for this device. All right, so let's open it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, we, we in business now. All right, and so here we have it right here. Next, next, next. And so now, not now, I don't need that right now. Permission sure all right so here it is so to get a few of the applications definitely go to the app toy which they hold that works strictly for their device all right so with that being said let's go back in here and get uh analyti but maybe i have to get their version all right let's install it we're in business now nah. Don't forget to smack the thumbs up too, guys. Let's hit install. Let's hit open. There we go. And so this is hardwired, as you see right here. So with it being hardwired, I know it's a 10 100. I know it's a 10 100 device meaning if it's hardwired it will not go past 100 megabytes per second all right let me test it again just to make sure all right 
I'm quite sure if I will Wi-Fi, it will go. And I can check that as well. So this is a 10100 device. All right, so that you know it. Which is not bad. It just it just it's just that if you pay for 500 megabytes, it's not going to go. If it's hardwired, it's not going to go. But let me do this. I'm about to set up my Wi-Fi because I want y'all to see that as well. So let me take this off right quick. All right, because I can't show y'all that. You know, they be waiting on your boy to slip. And so let me do this. Let's go back to the home. Let me go up here and set up the Wi-Fi. All right. See y'all. Make sure the camera is on. You know, I want y'all. Somebody get that password. Like, yo, I got him. That's everything up in the house. So salute to Well TV was like, nah man, we don't want you uh we don't want you messing with yours. All right. So I'm connecting to the network right now. I'm gonna see if it had me. All right, waiting for it to connect. I might have to unplug the Ethernet cable. Because this should have connected by now. So let me do that. It might be a conflict. Yup, it was. As soon as I unconnect, as soon as I disconnected. All right. So. All right. So you see that I am connected. All right. So now, let's go back. We should be able to go over here and actually get it now. Let's see where it's at now because I'm on Wi-Fi. And so on Wi-Fi, you see the difference? I get 350, 360, like 360. And the, down, the upload is going to be about 50-something. So, Oh, nope upload actually went down 10 so i mean it's still good speeds but we, we'll try again make sure try twice make sure it's nice so i'm near the 400s now and i again i pay for 500 and there you go you see the upload so that's why i always do it twice because Sometimes that first one, when they get on the network. All right, so we all good. All right, we all good. All right, so we are all good. So, again, this version of Aptoid right here, this is part of the Buzz TV team. All right, you got video and editors. So, let's see if they have Nova. I may have to go with their version of the Nova player up in here. I don't see it yet. There you go, right there. So they they have the player specifically um, for their device. So it probably is another um, version of it that works for their particular devices. And salute everyone, man. Salute everybody. Uh, Salute, salute, salute. And so we have 15. Again, I'm almost done. Um, so you can ask your questions. What's up, everybody? 
George, I gave you a salute. Hopefully, I did. If I didn't, George, salute. Oh yeah, matter of fact, I know I know what that was for, George. So let me keep that. That's why I had you right there. Moni said, "I'm good, Dale. Thanks for asking. I see you, Mo. See you over there. I see you over there." So we're just waiting on it to update. What's up, Cordelia? Say, Dale, always give us so much knowledge. Much respect. A big big salute to you, Cordelia. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the love. Appreciate it. (laughs) What's up, Andy? What's good, Jimmy? What up, Dale? Odell, what up, though? Anytime you you got, hey, listen. Anytime you got Dale in your name, you are right with me. Odell, Cordelia, uh, uh, and whatever else Dale's out there. Stanley Powell. <laughs> you got them L's in your name. You know what's up. You know what it is. What's up? What is up? Nancy say. I hate my buzz box, Super Dale. Which one you got, Nancy? Which one you got? What's up? What's up? Don't forget to smack the thumbs up too, guys. Again, this device is not for everyone. You know, it's not for everyone. Um, But, you know, you definitely have to get in there and play around with your device. You have to. You have to. You have to. It'll make it a better experience um, and then go from there. But when you first getting in here, and like I said, it's strange that on my on my bus TV, uh, the X5, I installed everything right off the flash drive and it opened up. And so I guess with the with the dongle here, it say, nah, dog. <laughs> nah, dog. Nah, we, we ain't doing it that way on this one. And so, like I say, every device is different. That's why when you get these devices, anybody can tell you. Anybody, oh, you do this, this, this box is the best, this box is the best. No, it really comes down to you and what you think is the best for you. All right? That's what it comes down. Because a lot of devices I like, all right? But I like them for different reasons. My reason may be different from your reason. Let's open this bad boy up. There we go. So, yes. So, you have to go into their app toy and set it up. Again, let's go to network. Let's go and find my server, which I call theater. Let me go to share. Let me hit this one right here. And here's all my content. So, if I go into my movies, check this out. I can hit that plus button. All right, and it'll start getting all of the the, um, covers for each film. If you see up there at the top right-hand corner, right up under the the time is 8.37 here in Detroit. We are Easter Standard Time. It's 8.37 now. But as you see that number that's spinning, that, that's the number of covers it has to um, retrieve for um, inside this folder, All right? And so it's going to start pulling them slowly but surely. And this is why I tell you, and see, it's starting to pull this one. And then, like, and so if I wanted to go and watch that, one thing about Nova, it will pull it, and then you could just hit play right then and there. All right, and so as you see, it's starting to pull them. So if I wanted to watch this, I just go in here and it give me a synopsis, and I can, you know, add it to the list to watch, and then go from there. It tells me the um the movie is 4K, 5.1 audio, as you see right there. And so it's starting to pull them slowly but surely. All right. It's going to take a little time. It's still got 320. So they pull it. look like it's pulling from the bottom. <laughs> it's pulling from the bottom first. 
Like we're gonna move our way up. Like look at all these films. Outbreak. This was in 1995, 1080. All right. I could just hit that play button and it will display. Pet Cemetery. Philadelphia. Project X. Project X was one of my, fa- man, I ain't going to even lie, man. That film was so funny. That film, and this was, like, man, this is over 10 years old. Man, it's about 10 years old. Yeah, 10. it turned 10 this year. Came out in 2012. That movie was funny. Funny. And so, again, you can just go up in here like I got Queen and Slim. Just go from there. And, again, you know, you can just set it up. And, again, you can just see see what it is. I remember me and my wife went to the show and saw Queen and Slim. Saw that. Crazy. (laughs) But that's pretty much how it go. Um, And again, you see it up at the top. I got, what, 266 right there remaining. So if I go back in, again, it's starting to pop in. Starting to see them pop in slowly but surely. See that? Again, that's why we tell you we don't need, you know, Netflix. We don't need Disney or nothing like that. We don't. We really don't. But if that's what you want, and but, you know, here we can show you how to actually start your own media library. All right? So with that being said, guys, you may have a lot of questions for me. All right, let's get to them questions. I will get to George first. Remember to put the letter Q in front of your question. That way I see it because we got 74 people up in here. It's going between 75 and 80 people as of right now. Uh, but George say, what is the difference? All right, what is the difference uh, between both of these devices. And again, he's talking about this device and the XRS4900. Well, the difference between this box, this is a this is a dedicated box. It's not a dongle, right? It is a dedicated box. And let me just do it like this. This, I can make it even better, right? I can make it even better, right? Let me do this. Let's go over here, um, George. Let me do this. Let me share the screen. That's what I do. Share. That's that's a great question. So you heard me give the specs out from these, right? So let's go over here. Let's click on the 4900, which is $200 also. It's high-performance premium material. All right, come with some of the same features. All right, um, as far as the specs, four gigs of RAM. It comes with 128 um, gigabytes, so that's that's more than um, that's more memory than the dongle. It does have a gigabyte LAN, so that is a plus. All right, it does have a gigabyte LAN. Uh, two antennas. This one runs Android 9.0 compared to Android 11. It's running the Amlogic S922X. Um, uh, also come with a Bluetooth. Also come with automatic updates. Uh, Energizer. But now the, the one key is this right here. This little feature that I showed you earlier. Where you can you can take that 128 and you can actually add some memory to the internal. And so what a lot of people did with this device.
And let me take this right here. Let me stop this. All right. And so if you look in here, you see where you can add a SSD slot, a card, a SSD um hard drive. So one terabyte, you know, you whatever you want to do, however your funds, and you just slide that boy right on in. I actually I got a It might be right here, George. Yep. I have a SSD right here. So I, I do have one that's right here. That's why I say I don't talk it. I walk it. There is a difference. Sometimes. And so this one right here, what size is this? One? What size is this? This is a one terabyte. All right. So this is a 2.5. So you can install a two a 2.5 right here, a 2.5, and just slide it in there. And then you can just go ahead and you can actually turn this into your internal space and then just go from there. All right. Straight up easy. I mean, very, very nice. That's how you can do it. It's simple as that. Get you a 2.5 SSD, all right, as you see right there. And then you just open up the back, and you can just slide it in. And so depending on your card, maybe this is your, um, this has some of your movie library on it. You can, you can put it on there, and it will read it, all right? And you just close it up and just go from there, and it will read. That's, that's the... That's the best thing about it. Um, and a lot of people who like who game and they have like a whole bunch of um, media on their devices, like they have movies, TV shows and stuff like that. That's what they used it for. All right. That's what they used it for. So that is the real big difference of um, the two units. You know, this one come with 100 is four gigs of RAM, 128. Right. Just like this one, this one has 128 gigabytes of internal four, and it's just that this one, it runs Android 9.0 compared to Android 11, but this one, you can actually add memory. You don't have to add no USB, even though you can do USB memory too, but you can add it internally and then be done with it, all right? But they pretty much, they're going to all run the same Um once you learn one of them, you're going to learn the next one. Just remember, if you do get the devices, a lot of the applications, if you install a third-party application like a Nova Player, you install it from, like, you had it on your flash drive. Just like today, it did not work. So you have to go into their the app toy store that they have right there, and you install it from there. So great, great question. Great. Um, hopefully you got that, George. Hopefully you got it. Appreciate it though, but that's the biggest difference though. You got one that's a dongle, you got boxes here. You can just add internal to the 4900. All right. Uh, Cobra say new to the group. What's up? What's up, Cobra? How you doing? Eugene say thanks for the good info, my brother. Thank you, Eugene. So, bro, say took me all 15 minutes to set up, including getting the updates. David says uh, it works good on the. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. All right. Coming up. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know. William say, can you add your PC as a shortcut? I don't know. I don't add my PC to any of these devices. I don't I do not do it, so I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you yay or nay, because I don't know what application you would use to do that. Uh, William, I just keep both devices separate. And so you say, can you add your PC as a shortcut? 
I don't know. Not on. I don't know about on these devices. I'm quite sure you can with a certain application. I just don't. Walter, say thanks for sharing that knowledge. No problem, Walter. It just it just gives us another option, right? It gives us another option that we can use, uh, as far as um the, of using these devices. Now, the main thing I want you to know about this device is really geared towards eyebrow Peterson television. If you know what I'm talking about, all right? Because we have to be careful with certain terminology on YouTube because the algorithm, it catches certain words that we use. And if you keep, you know, they, they kind of going against, you know, cord cutters and uh, um, as far as uh, content creation and what we display. Like if we showing you step by step how to do something, you know, they really, really watching us, you know. Um, but with this one, if you have eyebrow Peterson television and you want it to record, you know, PVR, which is private video recording, personal, personal video recording, it has that feature on there. Um, so like with the S um RS, you can put a one terabyte in there. And you can actually record stuff like that. So you it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. And you never have to update the app like some of these third-party applications. Smarters, yes, you have to go up in there and, you know, uh, update the guide sometimes. Let's just be honest. Um, you have to go into the setting and go to refresh and all of that stuff or update all. X, X, is my alarm going off? Oh no! And then what you got XCIP TV is another one. You got to go in there and pretty much do it once a day or once every two days. And you know, with this device, the Buzz TV, or all the ones that I use, um, you just never had. It was very rare that it has to update. I'm talking about once every six, seven, eight months, and it probably was on my end or something like that. But like. Since I've been using this one, this is one that I have plugged up. I had to take this one loose because I do have a lot of applications on here. And again, can't show y'all because of YouTube and some haters. Y'all know the story how haters, you know, that's what they do. All right. But, um, you know, this one, um, it, I haven't had to update the app, nothing. It's just there waiting on me. It's there. It, it is right there and it's just waiting. So that's, it's pretty, pretty nice. You say you sent me a DM earlier today. What are you sending on? You sent me a, what are you send it to? Uh, email? I check everything. I see. I see. So the device will pick up your PC. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it will pick up your, your Plex. Um, if you're using your PC as a server, yes, it will pick it up. As long as you give it permission to share in your network, yes, it will pick it up. Yes. As long as it's on your network. What up, D. Johnson? What's good? And so it will pick it up. I mean... It, Anything, pretty much anything you share on your network, it should be able to pick it up. It's a Superdale, Netflix resolution for this box, please, sir. Um, that's a problem with a lot of devices. They don't show some apps, Netflix, for example. Yeah, this one, I don't think this is the the um, the one that shows you the 4 content, the 4K content. But on here, um, for anybody that need the 4 um k um content yeah you probably want to go with a another device um but this device is not geared towards that room they give you access to it and i think that's fine um that, that's okay um but it is really geared towards the eyebrow peterson television it just it tells you yeah you can add these applications to it to make it an all-in-one but really the special feature for these devices is your eyebrow Peterson television. That's what it's geared towards. And it does a, an amazing job. I'm telling you, it does. It, it is very, very nice. I wish, like back in the day, I would have been able to show you. But now, 
YouTube is just they see some old oh, no, news, they chopping it down. So you got to understand, you know, what is YouTube TV? YouTube TV is IPTV. So it is a a what? A conflict of interest. All right. Yeah, it, it allows you to do the third-party application, but the, the particular applications that I wanted, like the Analyti, what it is, my version was different from the version that works on this device. That's why they created their own app toy store, so you can go in there and actually get it from their version of it, all right? Because certain, the thing about it, certain devices, when they're running certain Androids, work better than some, you know? Like, I can't take, I can't take every application that I use and expect it to work on every device because some of them are different depending on what Android you're running, um, um, what um, uh, uh, firmware you're running. It just, it just makes a difference. You know, it, it, it makes a big difference. So, but the third party apps you can add, it was just those two. That it said it wanted me to go into the app toy store. Yeah, and that's what I, I was saying that too. I was like, uh, maybe I, I should do it from the Google Play. But then I went into their app toy. So, yep, you're right. I think either way you would have been able to get it. I think my my analytic was a different, it was just a different, you know, uh, form. So it just didn't work. say too much work i won't be touching that i don't know what you mean by that <laughs> i don't know what you mean hey but to each his own i mean every android box is not going to be running the android tv or the google tv um you know format you know uh for me which i have a couple of these that are in the market in my community where people um but they 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 use it strictly for the eyebrow peterson television even though i got some other third-party apps on there for uh movie watching and tv show watching they they 90 95 percent of it is strictly for the eyebrow peterson television and so again this is not to say you have to go out and get this it's just another device that's out there and it gives people options, all right? This is not QVC saying, hey, you must, you know, no, I'm not saying that, but I am giving you an option. This is just another option. So that's all it is, everyone. That's all it is. Salute. What's up, Miss Billy? What's good? Say great info tonight. Superdale. Thank you, Miss Billy. I appreciate the love. Leo, thank you. Appreciate it. James said, hey, that Buzz TV X5 works for me. Yeah, that S5 definitely works for me as well. It works. It definitely worked. And so this was, this is what I was talking about, right? This one, this is the one I wish I could show you, but nah, I can't show y'all that one. YouTube be like, yo, what's, oh man, trying to hit my video. You say, how do I get my Zadu when I record to share with, huh? Hold on, say that. How do I get my Zadu when I record to share with, with what? Hold up, you got to say that again, Eugene. I don't know what you're talking about. You say, how do you get my Z How do I get my Zadu when I record to share with my Plex when I when I record it. How do you get your Zadu to share? Like your recording? Is that's what you that's what you're saying? Is that what you say? Because you say how do I get my Zadu when I record to share with my Plex when I record? Say that again, Eugene. I just want to make sure. I don't know. 
I want to make sure, because you saying, how do I get my Zadu? I don't know. And then he said, yo, the architecture of the app varies by the type of devices it's being installed on, even if it's Android. Absolutely. What's up, Cinnamon? What's good with you, baby? What is good? I think Buzz TV make the best streaming devices out there. Yeah, I think, look, Buzz always been solid. I've been rocking with Buzz for a while. Buzz has always been solid. Um, the, the biggest thing with the Buzz, people don't want to pay that price. Just like Zadoo devices, right? Zadoo devices is not talking anything about Eyebrow Peterson Television. They ain't talking about no third-party apps. Even though you can do it, you can put those applications and those services on a Zadoo, they are geared to what? Your media library. That's what it's geared towards. Buzz TV, yeah, you can install these apps, but here's the highlight. The highlight is the Eyebrow Peterson Television. That's what the Buzz TV is saying. All right, yeah, you can put those apps on there, but those are cool, but you're really going to like this feature. And that's what that's what it's about. And so each device, like, it, remember I told y'all I would love to have my own box out here, right? If I, was, if I had the luxury and the money, I would create a box that has the home theater 4.0, and that has the Buzz TV um, um, application, so it could be an all-in-one. You know, it could be an all-in-one. And rather, if I put Google TV on there, um, which runs on top of Android TV OS, people be thinking it's just too different. It's just another layer of Android TV OS, Android TV OS um, sitting on. Uh, with the Google TV. It's just another layer of that. Um, I would love to have that, you know, and then my box has a HDMI in and out, so you can connect other devices up, such as, like, your game, uh, uh, some type of um, HDM, HDMI. Of course, of course, dual Wi-Fi, you already know what that do, it does. A Gigabyte LAN um, device, so if you you know, you plug it directly into a network switch or router. Um, you get those speeds. It's definitely going to go higher than, you know, it's going to be a gigabyte. So it means it's going to be going higher, over 100. Um, and a Wi-Fi chip. I want a Wi-Fi chip as solid as a, as a dang on fire stick chip, you know, as far as using the Wi-Fi. Man, if I was to get that, if I can get the Buzz TV app, along with home theater right running whether it's on android tv os or google and then give me the option where i can do two three point and just give me the option where um it comes with a hdmi in port and an hdmi out port the rest is history you give me those two features on top of one and a, a nice clean device with a bluetooth remote oh it's 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 on and popping it's on and popping you say i think he meant how does he share his content once he record with his zadu and plex to each of it oh okay so what you have to do eugene is take whatever you recorded um if you're using if you if you're recording on the zadu I think it records, you can record in MP4. Just take that file and put it into your Plex server or your Zadoo for, um, server and just go from there. You can you can take that, you can take that video image and, and send it out. You can use um, applications such as Explore and go into your internal and go into your, your download feature. And then you can copy it and put it onto your Plex server um, or onto your Zadu, either one. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. I just wanted to make sure we were we were saying the same thing. He wanted to know how to share his Plex with his Zadu. Eugene, 
You say, I, I think Eugene saying he want to know how to share his plex with his Zadu. If he want to know how to share his plex with the Zadu, then you're going to have to go up into go into home theater, go up there to the hard drive icon, and then you're going to have to select your Plex server. And then that's the way you can bring your Plex server onto your Zadu. Yup, you can do that as well. What up, though? Next Level said the remote has gotten a lot better. Absolutely. I'm I'm so happy because, as you know, Next Level, it used to be an IR thing. You know, a lot of devices um, were IRs, and you already know what you get with the IR. These are very, very nice. Um, very, very, very nice. And they are backlit. And so that's the beauty of it. It is backlit as well. And so I can go on here and just turn it on and turn it off. That's one thing about it. So it is backlit. That's the beauty of this device as well. Because we all know, like, some devices are not, they, they give you a remote control and it's not backlit. I know I got a few of them. Like, let's just take this, let's just take this third-party Bluetooth sofa baton, the older one. It is not backlit. And if you're in the dark and it's dark, you really can't see anything. So that's why we always said get you a get you a remote control. And even if you get you a mini keyboard, get one that 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 uh has the backlit option on it. That way you can see it in the dark. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. The remote is nice. That remote is nice. It is nice. Now it's not my 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 best one. Um, the best remote that I ever used um, was um, from TiVo. I love that TiVo. I love that TiVo remote. I just love the the way it fit in the hand and everything. I think that TiVo remote is very very nice. Um, but this one this one is nice too because I mean it's straight to the point. I mean everything is right here. You can pause play fast forward you can hit your guide button you got a you got a dedicated mouse toggle on here and i'll show it to y'all just in case y'all didn't see it earlier uh let me do this right quick so if you look up here right look up here in the the top left on the look at the the um remote control you see at the top left, it has the power button, and then it has an input button. So this means you can actually use this remote to connect to your television and different sources, all right? Then right in the next line, you got the rewind, the play, pause, fast forward. I'm quite sure if you fast, you know, you hold it down at a fast forward, or you can skip ahead. Then you got the dedicated buzz um, button, so that'll take you to your eyebrow TV, your eyebrow Peterson television. Right on the left side of that buzz icon is your menu. Then you got a guide. So remember, this bad boy, when the guide is on, it is very, very, very nice. All right, then you got your directional pad, which is nice. Only thing about the directional pad, ladies and gents, if you have some big fingers, big thumbs, you know, hey, you, you might hit go up and down when you don't want to. All right. Then you got your go back, that little um U-turn right there to go back. You got your home button, and then you got that dedicated um uh, mouse. You see that little pointer? That's your, your mouse. All right. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Then you got your, your volume up, volume down. Uh, you got your channel up, channel down, then you got your dedicated uh you got your info button, all of that. So you got that. I don't know what that button is, that little arrow pointing to the left. Um, and then you got your dedicated, your red, green, you know, and then you got your number pad, which is very, very nice. And then you got a page down, page up. So if you're on the internet, say you're on Chrome, you can just, and you're looking at ESPN or something, you're on ESPN.com, you can page down, page up, and do it from there. 
Very, very nice. And did I tell you it was Bluetooth? <laughs> very, very nice. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Very, very nice. You cannot beat it. Hey, Eugene, send me an email, Eugene. Send me an email uh, right here at Superdale TV. Also, if you need some consultation, you want to learn how to start your own media library, email me. I got I got a few slots that's uh, open tomorrow. They fill up fast. I don't sit in front of the computer all day, so don't think I'm gonna be down here from eight to six o'clock. Nah, we don't do that. You know, I get the heck up out of here. I get up out of here. So, but again, when I show you, if you want to start your media library, again, for the consultation, it is fifty dollars. All right. So if, if you don't have the $50 or you they look in the description, it tells you it's $50 there too. But what we try to do here is save you money. And if you want to start your own media library, there's all type of things you can do. You can rip um, films. You can, you know, it, it's all type of ways you can get the content. But the way I'm going to display it to you uh you definitely going to, I'm talking about as soon as we get done, I guaranteed it. If you be in your computer, let's just say if you're at your computer for at least like five hours that day, I guarantee you, you're going to have between 50 and 100 films right off the bat. I guarantee you, right off the bat, right off the bat. It, and it might, depending on how hard you're going in the paint, you, I'm telling you, because if you're in it, if you got decent, decent internet, I'm telling you, you're going to get that stuff like that. I'm telling you. So holla at me. Send me an email. I got a couple slots open tomorrow. Um, and they fill up very, very quick. I do this every single weekend. Not every single, but um, pretty much every weekend. I get with the people and I actually display it to them. And believe me, a lot of the people that's in the chat right now, we done did one-on-ones and she, the rest is history. And I guarantee you, the way I teach you, I am hands on. I'm not going to send you no video. I'm going to sit back and teach you right then and there. Take your questions right then and there. That way, because I want to make sure you got it. I wouldn't feel right. If I send you a video saying, hey, do this, do this, you still might have a question or two. And what I learned about doing these one-on-ones, everybody, there's someone that always bring up a question that no one has ever asked. And it's been a couple of them when I had to scratch my head. Let me tell you, for instance, I tell you, I had Lady Sun Goddess, right? She said, Dale, how she asked the awesome, awesome question. She said, Dale, on the Explorer app, how do I know the size of a folder? I said, oh, sh what? <laughs> I said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I said, that's a great question. Let's go and see. Because somebody... When they get that consultation, they may get that, but they paying for a consultation to see, all right, Dale, well, I've been doing this, or they'll throw an idea at me, and I'll tell them, like, yeah, you can do it this way. So, ladies and guys, she asked a great question, not to do with the media library, but say, hey, Dale, if I use that Explorer app, how do I know the size of the folder? And I'm like, shh. Nobody ever asked that, and I never paid attention to it until I went into the Explorer app, and we got to messing around with it, and I'm like, oh, sh here it go right here, and we laughed about it and figured it out together, and that way, I'm prepared if somebody asks me this again. Hey, Dale, I got like 100 folders, but I really want to know the size of my, my TV show folder. 
that that way I'm thinking about moving that to a whole nother um drive or anything. You know, I need to clear up some space. And we can use the Explorer app right there and it will show you. Big salute, Lady Sun Goddess, man. That's big salute. But again, that's what that consultation is for. Let me we go about it, we get the information right there, and then I say, Hey, you got anything for me? And people throw ideas. Hey, Dale, listen, I'm thinking about doing this, this, this. And I tell them my experience, you know, and or we talk about it. And if I don't know, I get back with you. Hey, Dale, how do I change a a, a hard drive in a PC? Uh, I'll get back with you. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done it. So um, not they never ask that. But people do have interesting questions and that's what that one-on-one see because i can send you a video saying and believe me i thought about it like you know what i'm gonna start giving people videos that way i'm done with it i could just send them the video and be done with it and then i said no no because people people have questions right people have questions other than the general topic you know they they pay for a service and i tell you yes you know, we can go up to a half an hour. We can talk. Sometimes, I bull crap you not. Sometimes, people done pay for a half an hour and we done talk for an hour because it was such great detail and I enjoy kicking it with people, you know? And that's what it's all about as well. So, when you when you come to me, you're going to get me. You're not going to get no video. Not to knock on anybody that does videos. This is not a knock. But I do know people have questions for other applications and services as well. And they just need some type of uh, direction because you might be new at it. You know, I was once that new person, you know, and it took a lot of trial and error, failure. And I want to stop you before you even do it. Hey, Dale, what if I go and pick up uh, 25 sticks? Uh, do you got 25 people that's ready to buy? Uh, no. How many people you got ready to buy? Uh, it's only two. Well, I probably wouldn't spend my money in, in getting 25 fire sticks. I say get about five of them just to be on the safe side. You know, and they throw questions at me like that. And they'll come back a couple of months. Dale, you right. Because, shoot, I, shoot, I only sold three. You know, I'm glad you just told me. So I only got two left. So I really didn't lose anything. But, shoot, I'm glad I didn't go and get that 20 or $25. No, I don't get it. Yeah. You got to be ready for it. Like, I don't go out and get, I can go and buy 30 on boxes today. But why? I'm only going to get like five of them. I may have two sitting here, and then I may re up and get like five of them right there. All right. I'm, I don't need to buy it like that. You know, I'm not going to go out and get four or five or three, three Zadu devices. No, I got to, I, somebody got to be very, very serious. I always keep one on standby, but if somebody else is talking and if they talking about the Zadu, I tell them, if you serious, you got to send me a deposit because I'm not about to order a Zadu box and then you renege on it. You send me a deposit, you're not ready yet, you send me a deposit, I will have that device ready and then once I get done with it, I'll give it to you, give me the rest of the money. And then we just go from there. That's how I do business and that's, that's just how it is. So, just to know when you when you go through me, you hire me, get you, I'm gonna get you going with your media library, and we're gonna go from there. Whether you put your media library on a Plex or you put it on a Zadu boxes or any similar boxes, you know, it'll be on you. You know, that's up, that's your choice. Eugene, you can you can send me an uh, email now. Nah, just send me an email uh, now, and I will get to it. Because I'm quite sure now, you know, people are definitely going to be emailing me for uh, um, consultations. So, again, um, you don't need a consultation, Eugene. you pretty much good. You don't need it. You don't need a consultation. You just need, you just have a question about how you move this from that. That's not a consultation. So, i tell you how to do that. I'm talking about the consultation for people who are beginning. They want to save money. And I'm going to show them how to save the money. I'm telling you, that's what it's all about, man. Just sharing ideas with each other, getting you over the hump. That way you saving money. At the end of the day, 
I want you to save money. That way you take your money and do something else with it. That's what it's all about. Say, chat, I'm so proud of my brother, Superdale. Here's the truth. Not going to say he put me under the bus. <laughs> I always put, hey, look, hey, j Rack, we, all of us be throwing each other up under the bus. <laughs> J Mac is just a whole other different individual. J Mac don't care who you are. He do not care. J Mac wake up and will send a shot your way. The way y'all see J Mac now is the way y'all, he like two times worse. Nobody is off limits with J Mac. And that's what we love about him because he's crazy. He is crazy. He is crazy. And he will throw a shot your way. And you be like, huh? What? Hold, hold up, what? <laughs> so, so that's my dude right there, J Mac, man. J Mac is crazy. Only if y'all see what goes on behind the scene. And his, I'm going to tell you who he go at it with the most. Him and LJ go at it the most. <laughs> Him and LJ go at it the most, and um, LJ be waiting on him, though. But it be time, hey, look, you'll wake up, it be 7 o'clock in the morning, and J-Mac can throw a shot. LJ will come back, and they'll go at it for about an hour. And then J-Mac will come back and throw a shot at Real, myself, Bo, Tech, nobody is, Rose, he do not care. He Jesus say, he do not care. He do not care. He is sending a shot at you. <laughs> so y'all got to know, man, Hustler, that, 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 that Suave, like two years ago, that's out the window. That's gone. That's gone. You know how he used to talk back in the day. All smooth. The real J. Mecton came out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. yeah, definitely. You hear James say, get that one-on-one. That one-on-one is going to take you because where I, what I'm going to do, once I show you this, you're going to be like, what the heck? Like, some of the, man, she, look, I had one guy say, yo, Dale, I was ripping. Man, it take like two hours just to get a movie. I say, what? <laughs> one movie? <laughs> Uh, anytime, just um, just hit me up with an email. That way, I I and tell me what exactly what you're trying to do. So we may, I may just jump on the chat with you and just show you, or you could show me what you're trying to do. I'm not gonna. I don't think what you need is a consultation. You just need direction to say what you're doing because you got everything. You just trying to re- just send me an email, Eugene. We we'll, we'll talk about it. What up, Joe G? What's good with you, baby? Oh, I heard him talking about me yesterday. I heard him. LJ, I heard him. Listen, I had one eye open, and, and I was on my way. I came in from work. It was a hard day at work. Busy. Took the shower, and um, I'm just sitting there. And I hear him and Bo, and um, he was just taking shots. Uh, a couple of other people came on the show. I'm just like, all right. But I sent Bo a text. Bo didn't catch it till later on. I said, I say, I said, man, tell J Mac F him. <laughs> Yo, so man, it was crazy. What up, though, Danny? What up, though? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Up so, but everybody, hey, look, check it out. I'm not going to hold y'all up because it is 9:30. I just wanted to give y'all another option, guys. Because at the end of the day, it is what about options? It is all about options. So I wanted to give you a live presentation because live presentations are different from regular videos. Because in, in, in a regular video, 
you got to sit back and cut, 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 keep, cut, and, you know, edit your video and try to do it in a, a short length of time. Well, we're here. One thing about showing you a live presentation is not only you get to see the features, but you get to see a lot more than what you can show in a 10, 15 minute video. All right. You see it firsthand and see now if I do a dedicated video, I can see you already know what it is. You know, you know exactly what it is and you will see like the trials and errors and you will be like, hey, man, why this ain't working? I installed this. This app from my flash drive, or external drive, or uh, Wi-Fi sharing and stuff like that, and it's not working. Well, now you found out why it's working because it's sitting inside of, you know, the Buzz TV app toy store, and it's waiting for you to to download it from there. So, everybody, I appreciate the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me in your life. Um, just be safe out there, guys. We even had an incident here. Uh, one of our officers got ambushed. Um, he's deceased now. Uh, man, it's crazy. Leaving a wife and two children. Crazy. You know, just, just individuals out here is just crazy. So what I'm saying is keep your eyes open. Always. I don't care if you're shopping at the store, Walmart. I don't know. You look at everybody. As you shopping, don't just be... Walking with your phone in. Pay attention to everything, guys, because it's a lot going on out here. People, you can't even go to parades no more. You can't go to parties. You got to pick and choose where you're going because it seems like people are just, they short fuse or they don't want to use these anymore. The first thing they want to do is what? Go get a weapon and take you out for life. And look, if you someone like myself, you got a you got a wife, you got children, you taken care of. Then you have to make that decision to sit back and say, you know what? It's not even worth it. You know, let me just go on here, grab, get my keys. Let me get up out of here. They may call you a punk. They might call you a, the P, the five letter P word, whatever. You still going home to your wife, You still going home to your family. <clears throat> that, that's what it is. But if you out here shopping, pay attention, pay attention. I look at everything. When I tell you, I look at everything. I pay attention to everything. Any type of loud, I don't care. I don't care. I'm looking because I just in case anything goes down, at least I have a chance to get away. At least that's the plan. All right. I can prepare for an exit. You know, so pay attention, guys, because it, it's just a shame that you know you, you can kiss your wife, you can kiss your husband, you can kiss your, your kids. Your significant others, you can kiss them and you don't even know if you're going to see them again. They don't know if they're going to see you again once you walk out that door. All right. So keep your eyes open. Keep your ears. Young adults, I know y'all used to them phones. Leave them phones. Hey, it's nothing wrong with looking at them, but hey, what? Oh, that ain't nothing. All right. You know, sometimes you just got to do that because a lot of kids be just. And a lot of you dots too, just be, be walking through the mall like this. And that's what they do. So just pay attention, guys, um, and then go from there. I appreciate y'all. Big salute to y'all. Make sure I, ain't, um, you know, uh, uh, make sure uh, everything is good on your end. Take care of your families. Again, if you need that one-on-one on how to start your media library, email me at TV at gmail.com and then we'll go from there. I should get to you sometime later today or something like that. I'll try to get to all the emails today. because I'm going upstairs and I'm about to watch that, that TV show because uh, the fifth episode just came out. The old man, that's what I've been watching. That old man is a little vicious and everything, hitting him, ooh, yeah, all that stuff. So it's pretty interesting, all right? Big salute to y'all. Love y'all. Y'all be safe out there. This is Super Dale, and I'm signing out this joint. Be safe, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.
Thank you.